Hello everyone, this is a case of traumatic cataract with severe eye reader dialysis. It was a previous old trauma 40 years ago. There are three main problems here, the traumatic cataract and the large inferior eye reader dialysis and the area of zonular damage. It's important to note that the extent of zonular damage is uh, much larger than the area of the eye reader dialysis. I expect there is about uh, three hours of iridu dialysis, but the area of zonular damage would be at least five, six hours. I started the surgery by putting two iris hooks to gently dilate uh, the pupil. This is followed by creating the main uh, incision and painting the uh, anterior capsule uh, with uh, blue dye. I checked this patient carefully before the surgery and I couldn't see any vitreous loss at the area of the iridal dialysis. I started the capsulorexis and the main aim here is to make create about 5 mm uh, capsulorexis. Really important to be centered about the lens, not the pupil. Just keep in mind that the lens is slightly decentered, so we'll try to center this capsulorexis uh, around the uh, area of the lens aiming for about five uh, millimeter so I'll just inject a little bit uh, extra viscoelastic and try to extend the capsulorexis here to reach the appropriate uh, size of about uh, five uh, millimeter then I decided to place a capsular uh, retractor this is a very useful uh, tool to stabilize the area of the uh, zonular weakness. They give good support to the whole uh, capsular back uh, complex. And then I'll inject a little bit of viscoelastic and slightly push this capsular retractor uh, to center the uh, capsular uh, back uh, complex. I further decided to place another uh, capsular retractor just to uh, give an extra support of the capsular back complex as I felt that uh, the, there is a large area of uh, zonular uh, weakness. Then some hydrodissection, very gentle rotation of the uh, cataract. And then we'll do the cataract. Now we have the capsular uh, complex is well supported. I started the phaco emulsification by uh, direct horizontal uh, chopping. The lens was quite hard. The main idea here is to try to chop uh, the uh, cataract while uh, avoiding any stress on the uh, zonular uh, system of the lens. Try to keep the phaco tip in the center as much as I can and trying to chop it slightly outside the back for these uh, remaining uh, fragments. The lens was quite dense and required my multiple chops uh, before we able to completely uh, remove it. Then after completion, I'll inject some viscoelastic just to prevent the collapse of the uh, capsular bag uh, complex. This was followed by a pi manual uh, irrigation aspiration. Again, try to be gentle as much as possible because we expect there is uh, a large area of uh, zonular uh, weakness. I, I often inject further viscoelastic before uh, changing uh, the irrigation aspiration and just take your time in this step. Try to remove it as uh, much as you can. Fortunately, we're able to remove all the uh, cortical uh, fibers and then again injecting viscoelastic before coming out. I slightly extend the main incision and I decided to put a, a capsular tension ring. In that situation, I prefer to insert it guided with a second instrument to avoid any stress on the uh, already weak uh, zonules. You can see here the capsular tension ring is nicely supporting the capsular back. You can see it through that uh, iris uh, defect. This is followed by removal of the capsular retractors and injection of some uh, viscoelastic. 
Then I decided to place a capsular uh, tension segment. Usually CTR is enough if there is about two or three hours of zonular weakness, but in this scenario there was about five, six hours of zonular weakness, so I decided to put an extra support of capsular uh, tension uh, segment. I made a groove about uh, two millimeter uh, from the uh, blue line, and then I'll place the uh, capsular uh, tension segment and suture it with uh, Gore-Tex suture in that uh, groove. Then I use this docking uh, needle to pass the Gore-Tex suture. The Gore-Tex suture usually comes with a curved needle, so I straighten it a little bit to allow it to pass uh, through the hole of the capsular tension segment. The other option is to pass the suture through the uh, hole outside the eye and then uh, you can put the uh, capsular uh, tension segment inside the eye. In this occasion I decided to dock it while the segment is inside the eye. Then another uh, docking needle about two millimeter uh, in, within the groove and then passing again the uh, needle through it and through that we can uh, secure the capsular segment uh, in place. I'll put initially uh, just a gentle tension just to keep it secure in place and you can notice that the, the capsular uh, complex is now well centered in the pupillary axis. Then I'll remove the uh, iris hooks and put the lens implant within the uh, capsular uh, pack. The lens is now uh, nicely centered and I'll put some extra uh, myocol to constrict the pupil. The next step is to prepare for the iridodialysis uh, repair. I made a groove in the sclera, just a partial thickness groove about 1.5 millimeter from the uh, limbus. Good cutary is essential now. And then I will use a double arm 10 0 uh, Berlin suture to uh, repair the iris. Here I'm using the 30 gauge needle just to make a very tiny track through the sclera. I'm also using a secondary instrument to help to get a small grip of the uh, peripheral uh, iris and then uh, docking the needle uh, again through the 30 gauge needle. I usually prefer to bend the straight needle just to make it easy to retrieve it outside the eye. And then now gently pulling the iris tissue and securing uh, the knot. Then repeating this process again, I'm planning to put uh, three sutures three mattress suture for the iris repair repeating the same process again and pending the uh, double arm at 10 0 uh, suture and once it's retrieved i'll make a few throws and try to adjust the knot just only a gentle tension to bring the iris to the uh, desired uh, position And then I started to tightening slightly the uh, first knot. And then at the moment, uh, I thought that it may be a good idea to place uh, another uh, knot. So I slightly extended the groove and placing the third uh, mattress suture. One important tip here is to try to make uh, the uh, sutures for slightly larger from the scleral side just to follow the configuration of the uh, iris and prevent any curling of the iris at uh, the angle. Retrieving the last suture and securing it in place then I'll uh, secure the uh, last uh, suture. The iris now uh, has a good cosmetic uh, appearance uh, following repair with three mastress suture. Just I'll gently bury these knobs in the groove to avoid them causing any irritation following the surgery. 
and then I'll tighten the uh, Gore-Tex suture as the lens implant appears to be well uh, centered. It's really important to parry this uh, Gore-Tex suture to avoid any late uh, erosion. So with the aid of a Seneski hook or uh, MST 23 gauge forceps, I'll just push it in the groove to make it sure it's fully secure. Then I'll go back to the anterior chamber and doing good IA, I'll gently stretch this iris uh, tissue just to prevent it from curling it at the angle. And now the pupil is uh, nicely, has a good uh, cosmetic appearance at the end of the surgery. The final step is to close this conjunctiva with uh, an 80 vicryl uh, suture and hydrate uh, the main uh, incision. The microscope view before and after uh, the surgery, we addressed the three main problems, the traumatic cataract and the area of the zonular damage and the I redo uh, dialysis uh, repair. I reviewed the patient after the surgery. There is a good cosmetic appearance as well as functional uh, outcome. Vision has improved from uh, counting finger to six, uh, nine after the surgery. Thank you very much for watching.